Good morning, guys. So, right now, it actually is the morning still. It's 11.30, and, um, <clears throat> so, my hair is a mess. I just threw it up in a barn because I just took a shower, and I hate when my hair, like, gets my clothes wet and all that stuff, so... So today I may be posting two videos that should go together, but like, like I said, it's just like the time limit. So say I, this video was 14 minutes and 30 seconds long, and the other video was 14 minutes and 30 seconds long, then that will all of all of that video will be combined together so you watch this video first because this video will be uploaded first and then when you're done with this video the other video should um i don't think it will be uploaded as soon like as soon as you finish watching this video but it will be uploaded today the same day so once you see this uploaded watch it and then you'll just have to wait um until my other video so on my other video i'm not doing an intro because my in the combined with my intro is already in here so yeah oh my god i gotta get this tennis racket out i use this ten tennis racket for slime as you can see because you can see the slime on it I want to put it on the ground. I'll put it right here. So that's like that. So, so today I'm going to be showing you how to customize more school supplies. But we're going to add some extra stuff that's not school supplies. Like makeup and slime containers and all of that crazy stuff so let's just get into it so the first thing I'm going to do is school supplies and I have these mini mechanical pencils and yes they are already designed and you're probably wondering why are you designing them when they already have designs on them well that happened Well, let me just open this. All of them are the same, except for two green ones and then four blue ones. But, say this blue one ran out of lead, and this blue one did it. If I had both of them, I'll have to click, but then you don't see that lead click no lead comes out of course now I have to now I have to put that down and then click oh and then this lead comes because I I want to like pick the right one up so that I don't have to like look for it out of all of my pencils so yeah let's just do that so for this one I'm gonna use my duct tape again I'm going to take a small piece of duct tape. Oh, I gotta get my scissors out. And my tape, double side tape. Ow! <coughs> I said, ow! Cause I like hit my, I like poked my eye. So I'm gonna take this piece of tape Take one blue pencil and I'm going to wrap it around the top but the thing is it's too big so what I'm going to do is untape it and let me move my camera so that you can see what I'm doing okay there we go so I'm going to untape it, 
And of course, this is stuck. Oh! Everything just fell when I did that. So I need a new piece of duct tape. Let's go. Okay, so this piece is a little bit bigger. Oh, come on. We got a black thing on there, but it's okay. Ah. Uh, so right now, I'm... Mm, it stuck to me. Okay, there we go. Okay. I'm going to take this pencil and measure. And then I'm going to take my black pen and mark it. I'm marking it where it, where the pencil is under this thing so that, you know, I can at least see that it's blue, even though the top is blue too, and I know the designs are different, but still. So now I'm just going to cut it out. Cut. I hate when duct tape sticks to you. Okay, so I cut it out. <sighs> so now I'm going to take my pencil. Okay. And wrap it around. Then I'm going to cut off the excess tape. Then do you see this little, these things right here? All you have to do is try to cut them off. So what I did was, um, I, it's really hard to cut it off. So I just folded it and now when you like write, it, you kinda can't even see the blue. So it just looks like a pencil like that and this looks like it's real, which is really cool. And you'll also find out that this is your pencil and that nobody else took it. So let's go to the next one. Next I have a green pencil. And for this green pencil, I'm going to take some of my notebook paper. right here and I'm going to measure where the design is we're not gonna have the design there and then I'm gonna take my black pen and put it right there and then cut that up That's like a perfect cut. Okay. And I'm gonna make sure it's measured right. Yep, it's a little bit too big. So I made, I made another line, so I'm going to cut that. Now that's the sides, and now all I'm going to do is put some double-sided tape on it and tape it to the pencil. So I finished the paper, and it looks really, really cool. It 
actually feels really comfortable when you write and I have double sided tape right here so like you could just go like this put your finger tape your like put your fingers on the double sided tape and your pencil won't move out of your hand and slip out of your hand because of the do double sided tape but you definitely do not want a plain white one so I'm just going to take all my colorful pens and I'm going to take the most summery colors and just draw a whole bunch of summery things that you'll find in summer. So all I did was take my pink and my orange pens and these are gel pens so like say I touched it right now and I like moved my finger around it would smudge everywhere so I have to just wait till it dries but while it dries I can still talk and I'll just tell you what it what I did so all I did was in orange I wrote S U and then in pink the two M's and then E R for summer and then for vibes I put V in pink and then orange is the I and then the B E and S is the pink so like it's kind of like a reverse thing so if you think of it you could do like orange orange pink pink orange orange pink orange pink 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 basically if you want to say that so I'm just gonna wait till it dries and then I'll show you guys the next thing so what I did was it was dry so I just put some of this clear tape on it's not double-sided I just put it on so kind of it's kind of like laminated now so then when I just go like this it won't get messed up so let's just move on to the next one so I'm going to do these two together because these are my last two because since I have two green ones I already did one green so then I'll keep the other green plain and I have four blue ones and um, I have two right here I already did one and then I have one regular regular one that could just stay like that so for this one I'm going to do this part of the pencil so as so I just cut out a little piece of duct tape and I measured it and now I'm just going to put it on the top and now we're done and this is probably one of my favorites because like it's just so cool and you have a regular pencil but then you'll know it's yours when you see the eraser so now let's move on to this one so just a heads up this one will be the last one for this video and then I'll post it and then you'll just have to wait for my other video to upload so just a reminder so for this one I'm going to take this last piece of duct tape that I had cut out and I'm going to put it right above the blue part of the pencil and that's all I'm gonna do it's just a simple thing and you'll know it's yours when you see this beautiful patterned duct tape right here okay yeah so that was it for this video so I'm good um like I said I'm gonna post this video and you'll already be watching it and then I will um work on the other video and then you'll see that and then you'll you just have to watch this one and then remember what happened in this one and then watch that one so I'll see you guys in the next video